Welcome back to the home build. Today we're going to be talking about mechanical, rough mechanical. So the stage of this house that, that we're in on the home build is the mechanical contractor just completed. And we're going to talk about some of the things that they, they did and, and at least what I know. So this video is kind of more or less to show you where things are, where things are going. Uh, so some details, I am a carpenter, I'm not a mechanical contractor. so. We'll just highlight the areas of where things are and maybe why they're there. So I've been, I have been building for over 23 years. I have some good knowledge of it, but again, some details of sizing, why uh, ducting is a certain size. That would be something you'd have to refer to back to a mechanical engineer, not just a mechanical contractor, but a mechanical engineer that designs and balances houses. So. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so where I like to start is the source. So right here is our furnace. It's an electric furnace. It's not uh, not gas. We did have that option, but uh, we, we just elected to go to electrical because eventually we're going to have solar and that sort of thing. And so that kind of makes sense. Gas is, in my opinion, kind of feels better, hotter, but it uh, you know it's not as environmentally friendly. So. Anyhow, it's an electric furnace and there it, it does have a heat pump and the heat pump is outside uh, as well as an air conditioner. So it can be a heater and an air conditioner. Uh, the way a heat pump works is it reverses the condensing and, and the evaporative cooling sides. So sometimes it's drawing the, the hot air from the outside, bringing it in to heat your house and then doing the reverse of it is taking that hot air from the inside, taking it outside in the summertime cool your house so or this duct rather is our supply so it's going up to an octopus is kind of what they they call it it's not as good uh, or, or higher quality as other systems where they would take this supply going throughout the house and start decreasing decreasing as they go some people say others like myself is all that hot air going right up here and it's a short distance to bring in that warm or cool air if it's going all the way around in different sizes the air itself is going all the way to the end is cooled down to where it might not be quite as as hot in my opinion so i don't mind this the best method though is right where this octopus comes out, they have valves that control the balancing of it. So what I suspect that they're probably gonna do, and uh, if it becomes an issue, then we'll change it out later. But for now, they're probably gonna have, uh, they're gonna have dampeners probably right at the grill itself. The bad thing about that is, is it can it produce noise. So if the, the dampener was back here at the octopus then um, you don't hear that change or that whistle of the air going by so uh, if it becomes a major issue that'll be something that we'll have to change out later up here in the kids bedrooms yeah i don't care so much i do but i do care about the master bedroom so uh seeing that supply so you can see it comes it continues down this lower duct right up in here and down insulated which is great coming down this chase and there it goes in towards where the master bedroom is is going to be you can kind of see the roof line from the outside so that's still in the attic space of the first floor up at the top this one here so air is coming in air has got to also come out to balance it whatever goes in has to come out equal pressure going up so that is the return all the way up there at the top coming over to this octopus over here here we have another return right up near where the stairwell is so it's bringing up all that air going up and coming back into the unit to get reheated and then going out as heated air or vice versa bringing in that hot air coming back and cooling it. So 
Ideally, where all the supplies are at is the source of the, the cold or the heat, to heat it or to cool it before it gets into the main part of the room. So most uh, ducting is near the windows. So this one here is near that window. This bedroom over here, it only needs one over by the window and that sort of thing. Same with those bedrooms over there, over by the windows. So it doesn't have a chance to really cool the room before it gets to where the, the, the supply is. So the door itself, so here's the door, kind of an important point as a, for balancing purposes, air comes in, like I said, it has to be balanced. So it's gonna be coming underneath the door. So having a path, that air, if you can think of the volume of the air coming in, coming out, the, when that door shut underneath the door, so there should be a gap underneath it, and then following back up into the, the return. So, it's kind of, so there's a whole bunch of the stuff happening up there. It's all braced, it's all supported up off the ground because there's going to be about 18 inches to two feet of blown in insulation up there for an r50 blown in insulation so it's going to have really good insulation if that duct was down on the studs they would just blow around it and that particular area wouldn't have as high a energy efficiency so it's all braced up it won't move it won't slide uh, and that sort of thing and then if it did it would just virtually come apart so now we're in the bathroom. Part of the mechanical contractors bid is that they have every moist environment, such as the laundry room, bathroom, and as well as kitchen above the stove has vents. So we call these fart fans, you know, kind of, I guess you can figure that the reasoning for that, but near where the, the source of the moisture is, that's a, it's a big one in Oregon, it's moisture moisture will be trapped in here if it's not adequately vented and as well as kind of heated as well but it's going up to a uh straight up that vent is going straight up and out the roof you're going to see that black black pipe okay it's going to have moisture so any of the duct connections need to be galvanized because of that moisture going up up and out so all right, so we're back down on the first floor. That supply, it went up and into the attic of the second floor. Well, it also comes down to the first floor. So down here on this first floor, we got the kitchen, dining room, living room, an office, a laundry room, and a bathroom. So uh, where it comes down to the second floor is this kind of, let's say, octopus, this chase right here so it can feed other areas so from this unit we have another feed going around and over to the laundry room so cutting through these tjis pay attention to the requirements so those tjis they'll let you cut in certain size holes certain diameters they have to be a certain distance away from the ends and i believe in this case these tjis are a little over 14 inches and you got to be like two feet away from the ends it that nine inch hole maximum needs to be in the center so if it's too low you're gonna weaken that tji joist let's see if i can point to it so the distance right from from here to here if it's too low you just jeopardize that whole system and it can collapse Okay, so surprisingly, that is a bigger hole than you would think, uh, but it still with, meets that, that uh, tolerance. So there is a spot over in this bathroom where the ducting and the fart fan meet right up in here. It's gonna cause it to be real low, just to how everything is, and it could be a problem. But we have a wall over here so if they do cut lower on this one, this then wall becomes a bearing wall for that single joist. So right now it's not hooked up. Uh, they're gonna be talking to an engineer about that to see 
what they come up with and what their solution is or whether or not they make that a bearing wall or not. So right in about this area is where the supply comes down first. So we got a bigger pipe. I believe that's an eight inch pipe coming around. Flex going through. And then another distribution point where we got eight inch going around and eventually it kind of necks down to a little bit smaller to a six inch. From here, they continue that eight inch, kind of surprising. This side here, this side here as well, coming over to another vent. By the windows, there, there, and over there in the uh, dining room. So kind of towards those outer points, cooling that before it gets to these inner, inner source of the, the house. So on the tail end of it, we got some more. We got a Y where it splits off. One versus six inch goes across to a uh, supply for the office entry and then the laundry room back over here is taken care of from going around the other side so proper layout and design uh, is important on these areas so that uh, you can be as efficient and use the few amount of materials as possible uh, I might end up uh, just checking to see what a bid is on uh insulating the floors in here for sound so as far as sound goes we'll see there might be some sound issues in here uh, but that would probably be more over towards the the uh the supplies down here it would need to be adjusted at those supplies because there's no access for anything around here to dampen and restrict the amount of airflow to one to increase the flow to the other. So those would need to be at those sources. Up in the attic, you can have access to that. So that's where it should be. If you recall, so if you recall coming over here into the master bedroom, that supply that came down feeds into this other unit right here. And then from there, it distributes to the the, be the bathroom feeds over to the master bedroom right in here and as well as straight overhead to another source over there pretty much where our heads of our beds gonna be so we'll see how that works out but and another little supply so it's smaller than it is over there because it's a smaller area bringing air in it's just mainly for the this master bedroom bathroom and closet so closet doesn't need to be heated or cooled uh having a having the door open is going to be just fine bringing air in here for the for the closet to so it's not a cold or hot space so that's about it um hopefully you enjoyed seeing how that is there's other designs so uh but that's that's how they do it here with the dare kind of helps reduce costs of how that is they do it over and over on different uh different designs of homes so uh they have all that mapped out and know exactly kind of where to put things so they're also one last one is a another fart fan in this bathroom going up and out the roof make sure that gets up and out of the roof not just sitting up there in the attic otherwise you're gonna have some nasty mold issues later rot and potentially failing of your structure so make sure that's sealed up screwed off well so when this gets turned on this fan it actually doesn't just pull away from the the vent up there and falls back down to the roof or the and if when they're blowing in any insulation blowing against it it doesn't just pull it off so screwing off taped off uh, um, zip tied to the vent up there other than that that's it that's a kind of a in a nutshell for the electrical excuse me for the mechanical uh this is the rough in phase uh, i probably will spray paint with the black spray paint up there in the 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 ducting there so that through the grill i'm not looking at this silver looking um duct uh, black matte backward or backdrop uh, just kind of as a little detail that uh, will clean that up and and take your eye away from looking inside the ductwork so 
spray paint. That'll, that'll help later. Uh, I do want to do that before sheetrock, so I'm not spray painting all over everything. But anyhow, that's it for this home build. Hopefully you liked. Leave any comments down below. If you have any questions, concerns, if, uh, if anything that I'm saying is wrong, which I'm pretty, sure, pretty confident that everything's adequate. So uh, that's it. Like always, be safe out there, and I'll see you next time on the home build.